going on YouTube, Dark World Mofo here, and I'm going to be giving you guys an updated version of my Dark World deck profile that I've been playing for a few months now into the new format, and I'm really liking it, and I'm going to be explaining it to you guys, so let's get right into the deck profile. So we start off with the nine basic Dark World monsters, the three Karathas, the three Snows, and the three Brows. Always played in any standard Dark World deck, uh, these cards are all amazing in their own ways. The boss monster, the searcher, and the draw power is really nice. And then I still play the two Silvas. I like them because they're virus targets, they're level 5s, and they're uh, big too by, by themselves. They're 26 with gates and 23 attack for their base attack. And then the um, two tour guides, these just make so many plays live with the love year play, etc. That's 13 monsters under the spells. Three Gates of the Dark World, amazing field spell, Argu arguably one of the best in the game, uh, next to Dragon's Ravine. Um, and then um, three dealings, mandatory, you gotta play three, you're gonna run out if you're playing two, and if you play any less than two, I don't know what you're doing. Three drag down, amazing card letting you know your opponent's hand, um, with, combined with Mind Crush and the viruses are amazing. Then the three upstart goblins, 37 card deck, so why not? Um, it's speedy. It's very fast. You want to kill your opponent quickly. Then the one ofs Car Destruction, Foolish Burial, Monster Reborn, Dark Hole, and Heavy Storm. I'm not playing Allure. I took Allure out for Solemn Judgment because there'd be so many times when I use Allure with only one Dark and I don't draw any other Darks and I'm forced to banish that Dark and then I cannot return my Dark Worlds for Drafted because I don't even have any. And then the last two things are Mystical Space Typhoons. Just being able to clear back rows really, really nice. Then, um... I play the Solemn Judgment, I took out a lure for the Solemn Judgment, it's just a really good card, being able to stop anything, being able to be protected is really nice, late game, if they're low on damage and you are too, it's a really good card to have late game. Then the two deck devs and the two eradicators, amazing cards, being able to get one of these off first turn is almost game winning, this card's almost becoming better than this one in this format just because windups are gone and uh, Monsters are not really less than 1500. Um, there's a lot of monsters that are bigger, and there's a lot of more decks that are spell and trap reliant, so it's really good to get this off. But this still works. I still like this card a lot. Being able to know my opponent's hand with Mind Crush is awesome. And then uh, last but not least is the Triple Mind Crush. The card's amazing. Um, knowing your opponent's hand and then calling this and then ripping cards out of your opponent's hand is awesome. They lose advantage so quickly and it's great. Uh, let's move on to the side extra deck. I'm not going to do my side deck in this video because I want to save that and actually like talk about that for a few minutes so I, got, so I can help you guys on siding because a few of you are still a little bit foggy. So I'm going to use my Dark World side deck to uh, kind of teach you a little bit what I side in and out. Next up, obvious rank threes, two Leviers, two Zen Mains, Leviathan, Tem Tempo, Acid Golem. Levier is amazing. Zen Mains is good. Uh, Leviathan is the first turn Gates play, and then Tem Tempo and Acid Golem are situational, but can be really good in some situations. Then the level fives I play Volcasaurus. He's so awesome. Tyrus, Adrius, Zen Mayo, and then I also play a Gaia Charger, just for like the Volcasaurus Gaia Chargers play. Um, that's really nice as well. And then the level eight. Two of these guys, there have been times when I gotta go into two, and just for the hell of it, Neo Galaxy Eyes. He's one of my favorite cards. I never go, in, go into him, but I've gone into him once, and he worked out really well. Alright, YouTube, well, I hope you guys all enjoyed my updated Dark World deck profile. I know there weren't many changes to it, but I hope I did um, shed some light on some of the things that you guys didn't know, and I hope you all enjoyed it anyway. Please make sure to give this video a like, as well as all my other videos. It helps me a lot. I want to give a huge shout out to Joe, aka Joe to Film God, the local filmmaker who's helping me make these awesome videos. Um, check out his channel, watch some of his videos, and leave him a subscribe and a few likes, guys. That'd be awesome. And then also, a huge shout out to Slim from Slim Like Team Symmetry. He had to, he gave me a shout out in his Dark World deck profile, so you know I had to give him one back. Um, I guess that's it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Dark World Mofo out. Peace, guys.